Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in my office. It's actually a rainy Sunday afternoon which in the middle of July is a welcome reprieve from the summer heat. I think we reached 103 for the high yesterday so I will take something in the 80s and some rain so I don't have to water my flowers. So anyway it is time for another tiny tiny Tuesday video. So I'm coming to you today with our little added bonus of the Fly Lady system. So the month of July, I'm talking all about the daily focus habit that she has in her system. So today we're gonna to talk about Wednesday and anti-procrastination day. So stay tuned and welcome to my office. If you are just finding me for the first time, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. And if you're returning for another fun collab with Sunday Dawn at the Helpful Home, then I'm so glad you've joined me again. So thanks again to Sunday Dawn. She is the amazing host who coordinates all of us ladies who do our Tiny Tidy Tuesday videos each Tuesday. So you can find the link in the description for that playlist, as well as some videos I've made talking a little bit more about the Fly Lady system and how I like to use it around my home. And today I'm going to be tackling a few little projects that were anti-procrastination day projects. So in the Fly Lady system, besides your morning and evening routine, which is part of your daily habit that you do each day, then she also has you create day of the week habits or a daily focus. And so, so far this month, we've already talked about what to do on Monday and Tuesday. And today we're gonna to be talking about Wednesday and in the Fly Lady system, it's anti-procrastination day. And I love this because it just reminds me once a week, you know, you've been looking at that little project or that little thing that needs to be put away or that little thing that needs to be done or that phone call that needs to happen for weeks. Why don't you just get it done today? And sometimes, I find that I tell myself I'm gonna do it later because later is a better time and then it'll be a big project and I always feel real satisfied when I complete a big project. But if I gather up two or three or five or six of these anti-procrastination day projects, then suddenly it's its own little project and I feel so accomplished getting all of these things finished that I've been seeing or thinking about. They've just been playing in the back of my mind. Don't forget to do that. Don't forget to do that. <laughs> and now it's done and I can move on to something else. So without further ado, today what we're going to be talking about is how I'm going to be planning for Jordan Vention because this is something I've been thinking about. I know I need to pack soon. It's coming up in, for me, it is five days, I think. It's on Thursday is when I, when I leave for that. And I have been thinking for the last several weeks, you could pack now, you could do a few things, and I haven't done it. So these Tiny Tidy Tuesday projects have been such a welcome refresh to my Fly Lady system because once a week it helps me to think about what is a little tidy project that I could get done to share with you on these videos, but also just to keep my momentum moving forward. So I'm gonna turn the camera and we're gonna start this little tiny tidy by getting myself organized on paper because sometimes that's what is the roadblock that keeps me from moving forward on the project is I just have all the thoughts swirling and I can't seem to organize them enough to move forward and take that first step because I don't know what the first step is. So I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. I did sit down and do a little bit of thinking ahead about what I would wanna bring, what I need to pack, and I've done a few little things, but I need to review my list and that will help me move forward today and get the next step done. So let's move into that. Okay, so this time we're gonna combine a little bit of both. So I do a planning video every Sunday. So if you're into planners and paper planning, you may wanna check some of those videos out. I just did a review of the July subscription box from Jane's Agenda. So this is actually a cover from Jane's Agenda, but we're gonna flip open this little collection planner. This is just kind of a catch-all planner that I use to hold random notes and little projects and long-term things. So these don't necessarily need to live in my everyday planner that I carry around with me. So I have, let's see. I think it's gonna be after August. Here we go, it's this little star paper clip. Or actually, it's an arrow. Okay, so I've kind of marked this as my Jordan Vention section. So this is a packing list sheet that came out of, um, this was, 
I think the June Jane's Agenda subscription box. So I really liked these because I didn't have to think about it. It was just everything I would have normally jotted down anyway on a packing list. So you can see on the one that I started, I've been making notes already about what the general schedule is gonna be for the event and some of the main things that I need to bring. And I have already gotten together some of these gifts. So that feels really good that I have that part done. And I made a note about which planners and planning supplies I wanna bring. So I think what I'm gonna work on today is packing up some of my makeup and toiletries because I do have doubles of a couple of things that I usually carry in my purse as like my on the go, you know, touch up kind of makeup. So I could always just pack that up now. And I may be able to put together some of my outfits and get that stuff packed and maybe some of my undergarments. And then some of these things I could potentially throw in a bag and kind of get all that started too. So I think that's what we're going to do is I will be tidying up my suitcase. That's going to be my tiny tidy for today is tidying up my packing supplies in my suitcase and getting ready for Jordan Vention. But as I mentioned, this is kind of an anti-procrastination day project for me because it's going to feel so much better to know I'm not waiting to the last minute to get all this done and then you know, the day before the conference, I can just throw in the last couple of things that are everyday items that I'm using, or even that morning. The good news is I don't have to leave super early, so I can get myself up and get ready that morning, and then just throw in these last couple of things. So I'm even noticing, like, my blanket that's just behind me here in the office. I can pack that up. Some of these um, extra bags and things I can pack up. So, all right, let's get started on that. Now that we've had a look at my planner, I will walk you through what I've started with. So this is the rest of the room that you normally see behind me. This is our guest bedroom on the second floor. And then I've just taken over the little dormer window for my office space. Um, so what I've done is decided to use the bed as my staging area. So I have, and we have squeaky old hundred year old floors. <laughs> so I have my planner there and I've already started gathering a few things that I know I want to either pack or bring with me. And this little box is actually one, I used to get the subscription box from At Home with Nikki for a while. It was called the N Style Box. So these really nice boxes I kept. I got these little sticky label um, that kind of look like a library label. So I got those to put on there and I have this box that I keep on the shelf in the closet in here for my Jordan Essentials makeup bags because sometimes they're like a prize if you you know reach a certain level or sometimes they come in one of our host specials or our kits. So I just have a collection of all the different makeup bags that I have had or even like some of these are just planning like planner bags kind of thing. So I have those in there because I know I'll probably need at least one of those. They're just nice to collect things in. And then I ran to the basement and gathered up some different suitcase options. So I always think that I don't need that much and I can do with a small bag. And then inevitably when I start packing, I overflow it and I go to the bigger one. So I just brought both of them up here. And then I also grabbed this big tote um, because it's nice. It has a lot of pockets inside and out. So sometimes I use that for all the shoes and the extra things that won't fit into my regular suitcase. And both of those are actually Capizio dance bags. So if you don't know, in my background, my mom had a dance studio for 24 years. She started it when I was five years old. So I grew up doing tap and ballet and jazz and point and modern and lyrical and yoga and all the things. And so I have a huge collection of dance bags that I still keep because they work good for things like this. So in particular, I really like this one because besides like the main area where you store your things and there's a couple of pockets on either side and then on this side is like a little zipper pocket besides all that, there is actually a pocket that goes kind of under the whole main bag. And this is intended to be where you keep your shoes. So it like keeps your dirty shoes separate from your clothing and stuff. So I really do like using this one as a suitcase because it just seems to work well. And what I'll do often is my dirty clothes will go in that lower like storage compartment. So as I'm there for a couple days each night, I'll just put the dirty clothes down in there. So it keeps them all in the same bag but it keeps them separate from my clean clothes that I still haven't worn yet. 
And then here is the little guest bathroom that is part of this little guest bedroom on the second floor. And so this has been kind of my backup makeup storage area. Hello. <laughs> And so I have like my extra toothbrush that I travel with sometimes and a few things there. And then in this drawer is where I keep some of my backup makeup supplies and like a second deodorant and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to go through that, I think, and gather up what I know I want to pack from this collection of things and then start checking some stuff off my list and see where that leaves me. Okay, so I have gotten my gentle cleanser. I don't have my shower gel yet or my toner spray or my moisturizer. I do have my age defying serum. I have my two tinted moisturizers and I have my makeup bag with some eyeshadow and I do have some deodorant and also my toothbrush. I don't think I even wrote that on there, but that's helpful to have. <laughs> All right, so I have my toothbrush and toothpaste. Okay, so what I did is I have this bag here that is the deodorant, the cleanser, um, my hair serum, my moisturizer, my other serums and a face mask. I did go ahead and bring one of our clay face masks. And then this is just an old makeup bag I had. It is clean, I know it doesn't look it, but I had run it through the wash and that's as clean as it got, but this will be fine for my makeup. So I'll have that. So now I just need to go through and start gathering up some of these other items that I'm missing. But even just getting this part done, I'm already feeling better. I'm down here in my bedroom now and I have a couple of things. I like to grab just a basket to collect up some of the small stuff. So I'm gonna go into the bathroom and grab some of those items I'm missing. And then I will start a little pile on the bed of the clothing items I know for sure I want to take. Now I have a good start on clothing. So I've got a sweater I can wear any day and pajamas and a couple different layers because sometimes it's cold in the hotel, which is good for sleeping, but I like to have some warmer layers to put on in the evening, just kind of cozy clothes. And then pants, a couple different pairs of pants for uh, probably one will be for travel and then one for Friday, one for Saturday. My socks, my other undergarments are already in the bag. And so far I've got two of my t-shirts. I've got my Brave t-shirt, so that'll be for Friday. And then Rise is the theme of our um, convention this year. So I've got my Rise t-shirt for Saturday because our team is all going to wear our Rise t-shirt on Saturday. I've got my makeup here and I did get the remaining items that I needed off my list and they were overflowing the other bag. So I've moved into the larger bag and I like this one because when you unzip it, Adelina, you want to help me? I've got my assistant. You want to unzip it and show them. This was one of those incentive bags that if we reached a certain level, then we won it. So I like it because it's got a hook so you can hang it up and then it's got a couple different pockets. You want to zip that one and that one for me? So that, so way that one has toothpaste and I'm guessing that's, that's my toothbrush. I've got a razor in there mm -hmm. and then I've just got all the other things I had packed and the other things that I was missing. I got my little, um, yeah. what is it? My travel conditioner because I just use our conditioner. I don't need shampoo and my little jade roller. I've got all my goodies in there. So, and, then you also have that. and then I've got that because I like to bring a little sparkling water with me to stick in the fridge, and that way, if I need just a little something refreshing um, you, in the hotel room. You no, know, if you want to bring a fruit snack, you can sneak one right in there. Oh, that's true. I could tuck one in there. Okay, I'll let I'll let you zip that up for me. So let's check off a few more things. Dom, things on my list. 
So I do have one on my list, I got some, I actually, instead of a shower gel, I just grabbed our spa polish, which is kind of like a shower gel with some crushed walnut shells in it. So I can use it on my face or my body. I got my toner spray. I got my moisturizer. I got my conditioner and I grabbed the little scrubby shower mitt. And I didn't get any hand and body lotion, but I decided I don't need that. Probably um, I'm gonna be getting a box of all the new products that I ordered at convention. So it's like a big reveal. We don't get to see it till we get there, which is really exciting, but there's inevitably probably some kind of lotion in there that I could use. I do have a razor and I decided I don't need a pick. Uh, actually, I think I do, that's for my hair. So help me remember when I get downstairs, Adelina, I want to grab one of those out of the bathroom because I don't necessarily need a brush, but that'll be good for just kind of floofing through my curls, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Kind of and then I did get all my undergarments. The only thing I might need is a camisole to put either under an outfit or under my dress. I got my PJs. I still don't have an outfit for the director's dinner for Friday night, so or Thursday night, so I'm still working on that. I got my Friday daytime outfit, and I may just wear the same thing for our Friday dinner because that's just our little team dinner, which is a smaller group of ladies who all, we kind of know each other, so it doesn't need to be very fancy. I got my Saturday daytime outfit. I still need to get an awards dinner, either a dress that I have, I don't know, I may try to do a little shopping and see if I can find something, but I don't wanna spend a whole lot of time and money on it. So we'll just see what I end up with. And then I still have to figure out Sunday what we're gonna do. I got my sweater. Oh, Adelina, could you get that blanket for me over there? My Jordan Essentials blanket yeah. that's over there. And we'll... You know what, I'm actually gonna fold that. That way so you can see the Jordan Essentials. Okay, thank you. So she's going to fold up my blanket, which that is kind of a bulkier blanket. So I may end up, I don't know, I may decide not to bring it. I think last year I actually brought that lighter one, which is kind of like a wrap and a blanket in one. So I may just grab that if there's seeming like I have too much stuff. All right. So I had wonderful help with my helper here. Hi. <laughs> and she's going to go help Daddy start getting ready for bedtime. We got our little bedtime routine to get started on soon. So you want to say goodbye? Bye. <laughs> All right. Thanks for your help, sweetie. Okay. Bye. That feels really good to have that anti-procrastination day tiny, tidy task done. So now that I've got a good start on my packing list and getting things gathered up, I feel like I can work the next day or two and just get the last few things put together. And I've got that list really fine-tuned now, so when it's time to pack up that last morning on Thursday the 21st, which is exciting because it's around the corner, then I'll just go through one more time, make sure I've got it all, and I'll be good to go. And yesterday, I also tackled a few other anti-procrastination day tasks, just some things that have been bugging me for a long time, it wasn't anything I even planned. I was on the phone chatting with my dad while I was doing dishes because, you know, things like doing dishes and cleaning up the kitchen are always more fun when you can talk to someone. And I just got on a roll. So I added a couple of those little felt pads to the bottom of just one leg on this little kind of wine rack and wine table that we keep by the kitchen door. And it, because it sits where three legs are on the hardwood floor and one leg is on the rug, it just never quite sits level. So I just got a couple of those little foam felt furniture pads, stuck them to the bottom. So now it's sitting level. It doesn't help, of course, that this is an old house. And so all the floors, you know, sink down a little bit in the middle. And then I also put some of those felt furniture pads on the bottom of one of our kitchen stools. I had three of them that came with the pads already on them. And then the fourth one I had gotten from a different person and that one never had the felt pads on it. So I got that taken care of while I had those out. Then I also did a little quick declutter under the old table that we keep in the basement laundry area. And I had forgotten there was this bag of old, mostly old t-shirts that my husband had decluttered, I think years ago in the old house. So we've been here 10 years, so it's over 10 years ago plus some random pieces of fabric. I guess I thought I was gonna sew something out of them or I just didn't know what to do with them. But my friend who takes clothing and um, like scrap fabric to some friends of hers and then they 
transform it into other things. She was doing another run up to visit them. And I said, oh, I've got a little collection for you. So I got that bag out of there. I kind of had forgotten it was there, but I was down there going through the sheets and discovered a few sheets that needed to get um, donated because they were missing the other half or they were ripped or they were just so old, the elastic was worn out. So I got a nice little collection of fabric and old sheets and old clothing that are all gonna get donated. So those have already been picked up, which is great. And that was another like five minute, tiny tidy anti-procrastination type task. And it just feels good to have that done as well. Something else I took care of the other day was my friend Sarah, who's going to conference with me. She came over and we worked on packing up team gifts for our entire group that's going to Jordan Vention. So I've got those all packed up. I even put in the decorations that I'm gonna use on our table. And you know, we always bring some candy and mints and stuff to throw on the table. So all of that is packed up and ready to go here. So that was one of the other items that was on my packing checklist and that is done and taken care of, which feels really good. So I hope this gave you some motivation and some ideas on different ways that you can work your anti-procrastination day into your week or different items you could do for it. And of course, these tiny tidy Tuesdays are such a fun way for me and for all of us to just share those little projects that we work on around our home. Don't forget to check the description down below for the playlist and all the information. Stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about the Jordan Vention, the conference that I'm going to, uh, kind of a vlog style where you get to see a little bit more about what it's about. I've got some more planning videos coming and just lots of good stuff coming your way. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.